hey hey and welcome back to my channel it's ashley here and if you are new hey girl hey so in this video i'm going to be sharing how i redid this beautiful simple dresser here that i picked up from goodwill this is currently in our bedroom and there were a lot of different things going on with this piece so i'm going to cover a good bit of stuff so if you've ever run into this problem and you just didn't know how to fix it i'm going to share how to do those in this video so uh, let's get started all right so the first thing i'm going to do of course is clean off my piece so this is the most important step is you really want to make sure that you are cleaning your piece off especially if you're going to be selling your piece you want to make sure that the piece is nice and clean not just painted and it still be like nasty and dirty so some things you can use is tsp you can use crud cutters you can use regular just mild um soap and some hot water whatever you want to do you can use it on your piece i've also used like lysol and stuff like that on my pieces to kind of just make sure it's kind of disinfected especially in the inside of the drawers so so those are just some things that you can use when you are cleaning off your piece. Another thing I like to do is use my vacuum and just suck out any dirt that is in any of the crevices and stuff in drawers. Um, if you have a shock vac, you can use that as well um, to remove any dust or you can also use a um, yard blower, <laughs> whatever you have. Y'all, I literally use it all. So a yard blower, a shop vac, um, or my um what is this my vacuum so i'm in the house so i'm using my vacuum but this really helps um to just get the dirt out of those hard to reach areas okay so moving right along as you can see this top is very badly damaged um there's pieces missing chips stains um just all sorts of things it's gum underneath the bottom of this it's terrible so my first thought was just to remove the top and actually make um get get a top cut of wood and put that on top but then um the whole coronavirus thing happened so i kind of changed my mind with that and instead i just decided to redo the whole top and just paint it so i'm going to show you guys those steps in this video so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be removing the top. So when you're removing your top, the first thing that you're going to want to do is just remove all the drawers, of course, and then just look at the top and you want to find the screws. So most of the time pieces are going to have the screws that attach the top, um, your, your body of your piece to your top. And all you need to do is remove those screws. And you can also use a mallet to help you pop up the top to remove it completely. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to cover up these imperfections on my piece so I'm just going to take my putty and my putty knife and I'm going to fill in those areas and let them dry so after I've added that putty and everything is nice and dry I'm just going to take my sanding block and I'm going to sand down the sides honestly I think I'm just using like a 220 grit right here because um, I don't want anything too um, coarse because I don't want to add scratches so that's why I'm using my 220 grit and I am just going to sand away all of the putty that has dried so after I'm done sanding I'm just going to take my handy dandy vacuum here and I'm just going to vacuum up all the dust that I have that has happened after I've sanded of course and then I'm going to wipe this piece down again to get it ready for painting okay so after everything is nice and clean and there's no dust or anything like that on here to interfere with our painting I'm first going to mist my piece I like to do that so it can stretch my paint a little bit more um, this color I don't remember the name but I will have it linked down below it is bare paint and you can get it from Home Depot or Lowe's I think or it might just be Home Depot but anyways I'm gonna put the color um, the, the the name of the color down below and I actually turned this into chalk paint because this was latex paint and this was a sample size paint and I actually had to get two of the sample sizes to cover this piece so since this dresser actually had a stain in the inside that I could not remove I just decided to paint the inside of the dresser drawers so that I can cover that up if you don't want to paint the inside of your dresser drawers you can always just get some liner or um, wallpaper or an a peel and stick or whatever and add that to the bottom in this instance I'm just going to be painting so I'm painting the sides and then I'm gonna come outside and I just spray painted the inside because honestly y'all uh, painting the inside would have just made me go insane so I picked the perfect perfect color match 
of um, spray paint and I just spray painted the inside to cover everything in this nice brown chocolatey color. So to give this a little bit more character, I decided to stencil the sides. So I do actually have a video on how to stencil if you wanna see this whole process. But here I'm just putting in a little snippet of me adding the stencil to the sides. And I did this for all of the drawers to make them pop. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, there was a lot of issues going on with this piece. So of course we had the top and then now we have our drawer track problem here. So the little, uh, track guides they were actually a lot of them were broken and also the glides they were broken broken as well so I had to replace those so luckily I found some on Amazon and I will have them linked down below that worked for this dresser and all I'm going to do is remove the old ones and I'm going to replace them with the new ones which is so easy to do all you have to do is just pop them into place and then use the new screws that they give you and screw them down and you do that same thing for the back of the well the actual drawer for the um, track guides you add them to the back you remove the old ones and then you just replace the new ones where the old ones were originally so once you replace all the guides you want to make sure that they are working and i'm just going to pop the drawer back in place to make sure it pops in place correctly and it pulls out correctly as well so after I removed the top, I just brought this downstairs so I can get to working on it. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to sand this down, um, removing any of the rough raised areas that are on here to get this ready for actually putting my Bondo on here. So I like to use wood filler and putty sometimes, but my most favorite thing to use is Bondo. I love Bondo. I love Bondo. <laughs> So I'm gonna be using the Bondo here to fix the top of my dresser. Bondo is really, really good also to use if you have pieces that are missing, like this side piece over here. It's really nice to be able to pile it up, let it harden and keep piling it up and then shape to the size that you need. That is why I really, 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 truly love to use Bondo. It's really, really simple to use um, once you start using it I mean all you have to do is put the Bondo on there put your cream the little red hardener cream on there you don't want to put too much because if you put a lot then it's gonna harden really fast if you want it to harden slower you're gonna want to put just a little dab of that hardening cream on there so it won't um, start to dry as soon as you put it on so once I got everything nice and shaped out I sanded the whole top again and then now what I'm doing is I am cleaning it off to get it ready for painting now I'm just gonna take my paint and I'm gonna be using my zebra brush and I am going to brush on my paint and I did about two coats. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is remove the hardware so that I can start to work on the front of the drawers. And once I remove the hardware, again, I'm just going to take my lovely hands and I like to run my hands down and throughout the piece to fill any raises that I can't see to my eye and then I take my putty and I putty it up so after I do that again I'm gonna do that same thing I'm going to sand it down and then I'm going to start to add my paint now I'm gonna start to work on my hardware and what I'm gonna do is I am going to clean off my hardware first and then I am going to place these on my designating designated spray paper and I am going to spray paint these a nice gold color so this is the metallic gold that you can pick up from Walmart and I will have that down below as well the last thing I did of course was attach my top back so this footage is actually cringeworthy terrible because my lighting is so bad but all I'm doing is I'm taking my screws and I am attaching my top back to the body and here it is the end result of this dresser finally um, my favorite thing about this is the stencil sides it really just makes this piece pop I sealed this with a polycrylic and we needed a new dresser we got one and I'm super excited about that I hope you learned a lot in this video if you did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think if you aren't subscribed to my channel make sure you click on that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials and I will see you in my next one. Bye.